G'day! Welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 34. So guys, last flaming episode, we started on something huge in the sky above the base. So we got to head out there in a second. It's, it's actually, sun is just setting, just setting. But we started on the laser cannon of doom version. I don't even know what version, version three we're up to in the sky. Um, I'll show you what we're up to, and also, guys, I've been doing a little bit of off-cam work, and I've started decorating one of the, the wings, like I promised, remember, I said one wing a week, so I'm trying to get this week's wing done, so I'll show that off in a sec too. Now, before we get, before we go outside and I show off all the farms and all the stuff that we've, uh, we're going to be starting on this episode, guys, I, I did read the comments at the last episode, episode 33, and uh, obviously, there is a couple of people concerned about the mob uh, the you know how the you know how mob spawns work now they uh, mob farms tend to work a lot better towards bedrock and I I've stressed this I think a lot of you guys have already heard me stress this many times in 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 my live streams in my episodes um, already uh, that literally building a mob farm closer to bedrock is much more beneficial than building one in the sky so you know back in the old days obviously building one over the over in the sky over a, a huge water a water source like a lake or something was good nowadays you have to dig up and and um fill in all those gaps and oh there's a bunch of work if you want to build a crazy fast farm bedrock would be but guys the ones in the sky still do work don't knock them down just yet they still work just fine. That's why we're building this laser cannon of doom, hopefully to prove people wrong. Now, if this thing doesn't produce anything, well, then I will admit defeat and we'll build one underground. But if this thing actually produces quite a bit of, you know, items, well, hey, we can say, look at this. <laughs> it's going to be good. Okay, well, let's go ahead. We'll head outside. I think that's the very first thing we should do today's episode. Head outside. Let me go ahead and sleep first. Let me swap out my bed here. Changing out the bed. Yep, that's right. All right, grab my old yellow bed. Oh, poor old yellow. All right, and we'll throw down Kim's pink bed. There we go, sleep in there. Get all that changed over. Okay, all right. Now that's done and dusted. It's all daytime. Let's go ahead and head on outside. Oh, of course, there's going to be a butt ton of nasty zombies and stuff out here. We'll just take care of these guys first. Burn in the sun. Come on, come out and get a tan. Get a tan. Get a going. All right. There we go. Taking those guys out. But check this out. I did promise I would start on it, and I have started on it. So... Look, we could get all this in one frame, I think. Have a look at this. So there's the new laser cannon of doom that is starting to take shape. There's wing one, which we've been working really hard on. Here's wing two that I've been working really hard on. I've missed a couple of... Uh, I've still got a few things to do on it. Don't worry, don't stress. Um, yeah, flame, how cool is this starting to look? I also slabbed the third wing as well already. <laughs> so I've done that too. So my promise of trying to do one wing a week is i've done it we're we're into week we're into week one and i've already got wing another wing done so next week i'll probably make sure another wing's done and then all three of them done and then guess what we've got to decorate the outside of the big temple bit oh it's going to be interesting okay all right now where do i start um well obviously we're working on the laser cannon of doom this episode so let's Ooh, that means we're probably going to need some magma blocks or the magma things down 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 in the the the, the bloody nether <sighs> guess what we're going to the flame and nether that is not cool let's hope everything goes right and we'll pick up some of those blocks first thing i think that's the first thing we should do is head on up go over to the nether and pick up pick up some some hot blocks that's the first thing i want to do this episode get the get the whole flame and um yeah, nether part out of the way, if you know you know what I'm trying to say there. So here we go. Let's go let's go get these. Oh no! That's right, we jacked the portal up. Oh <laughs> bugger! We jacked the portal up. You know what? That that just means that we're gonna have to try and parkour it. Haha! -ha! Let's do this. You can get these Oh whoa! 
Holy smokes! No, no, don't get boom! Oh, jeez. Holy s- There goes the portal! Holy- No! Duh! That's not cool! Ow! Don't you freaking flame and go la! No! No! Let me home! Oh, flame and go la! I'm not trapped. This is just a huge speed bump in today's episode of Minecraft Down Under. You see, I do have another portal set up a long way in that direction, but that means we're going to have to run 2,000 blocks in the flaming overworld! Oh, oh, come on, really? That's not cool. That's definitely not cool. Definitely not cool. Alright, let's go ahead and head... Everybody's like, F. Let's head down. If we're going to run 2,000 blocks, I'd rather just get the stuff that we're meant to be... I'm not trapped. I've got this. Okay, so this here is our backup portal. We are quite the distance from home. I expect we got some running ahead of us. Ring out the other side. It is pure night time. What a little bit of a pain in the bum. Um, a bit of swimming ahead of us too. Should I, should I chop down a tree? I think I'll chop down a tree. Make a boat, because I'm not swimming that whole ocean. I think that's a silly idea. But as you can see, I've got the four stacks of, or almost four stacks of magma blocks like we needed for today's episode. It's just one, or just, ah, oh, what a pain in the bum. All right, I'm going to chop down the tree, make a boat, get on home, travel the 2,000 blocks we need to get home, and, uh, uh, yeah, we should be okay as long as we stay away from all the mobs. There she is, look at that. Ah, uh, and sun's just rising too. We did that, so we did that entire run. Not bad timing. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. That's absolutely amazing. But we did all that run in about 10 minutes flat. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. There's one right there. <laughs> all right. So now that the run and... All that is over and done with, and we've got our magma blocks too to boot, which is fantastic. It's time to get a shopping list together and head right up to the laser cannon of doom. I'm going to need like a bunch of stone bricks, which, to be honest with you, we are almost out. I've been smelting, smelting everything down. I've, uh, I've, ouch! I've stripped all these chests. As you can see, all these chests were had cobblestone and dirt and everything from when we did do the big dig out. And I moved all those over to here. And uh, well, that's sand. Um, yeah, I moved all those over to here, so they are funneling down and making stone as we speak, which is fantastic. We're going to need a butt ton of this to do the the casing, and we'll hopefully get some started on that as well. I'm going to need a little dirt scaffolding to get up there. And yeah, fantastic. All right. Okay. So from here, I'm going to... I don't know whether I, I don't know whether I've done a mistake. Do we install the magma blocks now? Because technically, yeah, we can do that now. Because the floor itself... The floor itself... I'm going to put the tracks in later on to collect all the items. So... Um, you could install it later, but I want to start installing the glass, and then there's going to be a floor that we stand on, so that's okay. There's there's going to be a platform to stand on where we put the tracks in at the end of the day, so let's go ahead and stick the magma blocks in, because why I'm doing this as well is I need to know where the case is going to start, okay? The case of the, literally, the case of the, far, the laser cannon of doom, um, where that's going to start, because obviously I'm a little concerned at the end of the day. Is that going to, is that going to start, in, well, it's going to start here, but it's got to go down into a small area. It's got to be hovering. Remember, we talked about this last, uh, episode. Uh, it's got to be hovering, so I've got to sort of count for all that. Now, up we go. Remember to stay crouched, so you don't take damage. <laughs> there we go. So this here is the splat for, uh, splat floor this is where everything will go splat and anything that will survive will be cooked alive <laughs> all 
and we just do it to each single wing here and it's probably easier to do this jump up on top of it and then go around like i'm doing now than to do what i was just doing <laughs> a lot easier okay and then as soon as we've done this what we need to do then is start roughly getting the case in because guys the farm technically as it sits right now is ready to receive large slimes and then once a roof's over top it will work it will literally just it should just turn on um hoping crossing figures everything goes well uh but we don't want that because we're building the the case first that will enclose her we're trying to build the splat pads as fast as we can so we can set up for item collection or uh, anything that does survive etc so yeah like right now you can literally just cover the, like put a big um roof over this farm she should start spawning and then obviously adding slimes will start pushing them off the edge as well there we go okay ouch don't let go shift you silly fruit loop all right last one And just around the corner here. All right, perfect. Okay, that is all four sides now installed, which is great. These are the, the splat platforms. Uh, they're going to work just great. Now, there will be tracks underneath, like uh, mine carts with... Um, literally with, with, with hoppers in it and they will suck through this block no problem so don't stress for the people that haven't used these blocks for collecting loot before they do suck through this block here no problem they don't destroy blocks as well before you say oh data they're going to destroy fire or fires do the same thing they don't destroy blocks as well which is quite which is quite good quite good so now that we got those installed and that's given me a rough measurement of three um that's probably what we're gonna work off i reckon so we're looking at the casing now let's start the casing this should be pretty cool all right let's let's do this so um what we'll do start on the outside here this is the outside case actually should we go one out i'm thinking maybe go one out and like leave a gap right around just in case for the future and because we're going to put glass in aren't we yeah we're going to put glass in okay so what i'm going to do is come one out from there i'm just thinking of the future ones if we need an extra block for something i don't know what so let's come right out and come right to the corner here go an extra one and then same thing with this corner come out like that all right so see like see what i've just done there that's exactly what i want okay that's perfect we're one out so uh we could put redstone or hide things or whatever it's gonna work bloody brilliantly do the same thing over here and run that way get rid of that block remember it's not like the pyramids see how the pyramid is just sort of round and round and round and round all the way up it's not going to be like that these are wings what we're building is is wings so we're going to go up by three so this is one two three out by one up by one so you have to get rid of the block every time you do this i'm not sure how high we're going to be going so let's do this let's just do an entire strip and see how high we need to take her how big this wing is going to be to cover it all up now remember we talked about you, you're probably asking what's going to be in the wings themselves platform so we can see we can see into the farm how cool is that so all the wings are going to have slabbed and like a glass viewing chamber to view in okay just remember that but uh what are we up to one two three so we've got a little bit to go <laughs> we definitely got a bit to go and eventually when we do the decoration for the bottom bit they will do the decoration for the top bit the mob farm will be decorated just like that remember it's meant to be like a giant laser cannon of doom like a spaceship that's sort of sitting on top hovering above our temple of doom sort of thing that's what we're going for it's going to be a, a long road but i think we we got this we got this i think we, got, we can definitely get this built let's just get this up so three three just go up by threes that's what i'm trying to say i've got plenty of stone brick on me but just keep going oh that looks to be about right 
Well, that's all threes as we go up. That's fantastic. So the viewing room, we could probably even put glass on one of the sides to let natural sunlight in. It shouldn't reach the center of it, making that perfect there. So now the trick is going to be trying to thicken all this up, uh, what we're standing on here, um, right across. I think it's probably going to take nearly an inventory per wing as we go. Uh, maybe, not 100% not sure there. All right, let's slowly creep down now. Yeah, let's slowly creep down, but I think that's it, guys. So this would be the roof. This, yeah, so this here, roof, right across, see? And go straight over the glass, perfect. Absolutely perfect, but we won't do that just yet. We'll just build the wings as is. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's go ahead and sort of creep down, which we won't take damage because it's only three, not four. If it was four, we would be taking full damage. And as you can see, ha, I'm seeing a lot of mobs spawning up here already. So whoever tells me that there's no mobs that spawn up here, uh, yeah, come on, look at that. That's just evidence that the mobs are still spawning up in the farm. Once we have these large slimes spinning round and round and round, knocking them off, they slide right off the edge. They should spawn again and again and again. I think this farm is probably going to be pretty quick for only eight layers big. And we've got two zombies up there. Two creepers, creeper, zombie, zombie, zombie. No, I haven't seen a thing. Oh no, skeleton there. It's brilliant, guys. Absolutely freaking fantastic. All right, we need to keep creeping down. That's just awesome, awesome sight to see. You know, finally we got mob spawning. Oh, I'm hearing lots of, lots of zombies and stuff. Oh, they want me something bad. Oh, <laughs> we're producing already, guys. <laughs> we're producing already that's just crazy all right let's keep going let's keep going right, there we go all right so okay so let's see if we can get this wing done all right let's do a bit of grinding we have to do a bit of grinding so i'm going to literally do now the three and this goes down by the way this is not it this is not the final step it goes it's got to go in so somehow We've got to, somehow we've got to scaffold down ways and do one, two, three, one, two, three until, until it reaches about a five by five in the center. Yes, that's right. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. But as we go up, just do one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. And literally just keep going. Alrighty then, guys. It is done. I just had enough blocks literally and just enough blocks to reach all the way up here that is what's left on my inventory and as people pointed out we're going to have the phantom spawn over very soon because we've actually skipped it's going to sleep for a couple of nights now in the minecraft world and that could get very very bad but before we get down i'm going to make i'm going to see if this last i'm going to see if we're at the right level even if not i don't i'm not don't mind too much i'm going to see if we're at the right level for the glass so i'm going to take a some blocks here and just sort of scaffold on out over to the center there we go so literally just scaffold right up over to the center here no we're a couple of blocks off that's okay i don't mind that at all i don't oh, not, there's no point taking that wall down no point at all so remember guys our plan is once wing one's up wing two goes up wing three and so on and so on and it'll be squared off this here round about halfway up will be a, a pad in here of slabs and a glass window looking in to view i think that's going to look fantastic and by the look of this we can actually have some glass strip going on the outside here too because it does not look like because the roof here um it does not look like the light will get too far in if you know what i mean i think i'm i'm, I'm coming up i'm like i'm just things are popping into my head like how to turn the farm on and off things are all just popping into my head and how things are going to look i think this is coming along bloody brilliantly now since we've done the first wing what we're going to do is jump down have a look what she looks like she probably doesn't look like nothing because we got one single wing done i'm not going to jump from here i think that's a bit silly but let's start making our way down slowly so it looks like per wing it's going to cost us one inventory that's not bad in the way of stone stone because i've got multiple 
I've got multiple bloody barrels of plain stone downstairs, so I think we got roughly the wings covered for now. That there is coming along nice, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? You know what, guys? I think we're going to go get another wing done. That's right. Let's Come on, let's get some more grinding done. This has to be done. Let's get a secondary wing complete, I think. And, yeah, let's get a secondary wing done. And before we do that, actually, before I go up, I'm going to think ahead and actually go nuts with the torches just below here. There we go. I just go nuts with the torches. Okay, there. It's just because it's creating dark patches. Remember, all this we're standing on will eventually be like gardens and waterways. And, you know, we're not up to, we're nowhere near up to that just yet. That's coming soon. Like, very, like, like, way, way in the distance soon. Something that I'm not even thinking about doing. Once the main temple's decorated, we'll think about doing gardens and stuff. As you can see, she's still fired up. So we can go ahead and take um, take out the magma. We'll put that in there for now. Take out as much as we can carry of the thing. Transfer that over. And I'm going to go back up. And we're going to keep on grinding. Alrighty then, guys. It looks like another wing is finally installed. Check this out. That's two wings done and dusted. Um, another whole inventory of stone brick uh, done. Uh, I d didn't have enough to start building the walls up on the side here. Yes, we've got to build the walls up on the side of the wing. Um, remember the actual cannon laser bits do attach to the side. It's more of a decoration piece. Not really, does, doesn't do anything to the farm itself. Um, we do have spawns trying to spawn and get us and all that good stuff, which is good sign. As I've been saying, like that... Having spawns inside the farm already with no cap on is is good. It means the farm should it still work pretty damn well. Should function real well. Now what I'm going to do again is try um, connect these two wings together just by you know running a nice line of stone brick, and then we'll get down and we'll have a quick squeeze on what she's starting to. Oh no! Oh come on! What the flaming really? Ah! That's not, it's now currently daytime, so, ah, I got a scaffold all the way back up there and get me stuff back, flame and bloody gala. Well, it was a quick way down. I think everybody got their splat. <laughs> I think everybody got their splat, guys. Oh, man, that sucks. All right, here you guys go. Here it is. Here's what she looks like from down here. And there you go. That's what she's starting to look like from the top. This mega structure is bloody brilliant. All right, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 34 of Minecraft Down Under. Um... Guys, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, make sure you smash all those buttons, like, comment, all that good stuff in the uh, in the description below. It'd be much appreciated. And also, big shout out to obviously the super chatters, guys. Thank you very much. For obviously, supporting the ongoing support with the channel, it does help out the smaller creators like myself. Um, and I'll catch us all later. <laughs>